thousands of people have reached out to me. So um, that's why we're here, because of their water concerns. Environmental activist Aaron Brockovich sits down with CBS 11 to discuss North Texas water quality concerns. I want to thank you for joining us tonight at 10 o'clock. I'm Kaylee O'Kelly. I'm Ken Molestina in for Doug Dunbar tonight. Brockovich addressed a big crowd tonight in Frisco. She says she's traveled to North Texas because she started hearing from so many concerned people. Jeff Paul sat down with Brockovich tonight. He joins us live from Frisco with what she had to say. Jeff. Well, yeah, we've attended just about every major council briefing and meeting involving these folks who are concerned about their water quality. Tonight, though, seemed different. You could see the relief on their faces that someone was finally listening. I am in this situation, seeing it, feeling it, living it, and breathing it. And yes, what I have to say matters. Speaking to a crowd of hundreds, environmental activist Aaron Brockovich injected a room that was full of concerns with pure energy. We are here on our time and our dime because we want to eat. Most of the folks in seats tonight are worried there's too much chlorine in their drinking water. We shouldn't be having these problems. Everybody needs water. Brockovich sat down with us, explaining why now and why this particular case. And they've been complaining for a long time. I show up, now all of a sudden somebody wakes up? Well, that's shame on any agency. That agency, the North Texas Municipal Water District, which insists the water is safe and the yearly averages of chlorine levels meet all safety standards. Our water meets your seats all federal and state safety and water act requirements. I mean, I think that there are water professionals out there that have that tattoo on the inside of their arm. <laughs> Brockovich's water expert, Robert Bocock, says the water district is using too much chlorine during water maintenance. His argument, while regulations allow certain limits, they don't suggest it. I totally disagree with him. The water is safe to drink. There are disinfection levels required by the regulatory agencies that, they that we have to maintain. The audience also got their chance to ask questions. And for the first time, they were happy someone was listening. I don't think any of us can take for granted anymore that when you turn on your tap water, it's safe. Now, Brockovich's water expert claimed this evening that the North Texas Municipal Water District received a violation from the state for failing to do one particular test. We did reach out to the water district over the phone and through email, but we haven't heard back yet. Reporting live here in Frisco, I'm Jeff Paul, CBS 11 News.